PC7 here. How is everybody doing on this fine summer day? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2013 and today I got another map for you from FSUK's Map Mania Contest. Yes indeed. So, today we are having a look at Broadwood. We'll look at our card page here. So there you go, Broadwoods, based on southwest of England, 14 viable fields. Okay, grass is the main crop. Alright, not a big money maker. What else we got here? Wheat, barley, maize, potatoes, sugar beet, and oil seed. Uh, okay, hedges can also be cut. Really interesting. Uh, okay, looks like we've only a couple of cell points. Here's a quick look at the map. We own one field, which is currently done up in barley. So there you go. All fairly, yeah, in fact, all quite rectangular. Other than a couple little misshapen ends, they are fairly squared off, even looking fields. Good, reasonable grass area over there. Alright. And here is our vehicle map. This is currently where we are. Alright. So, and this is the main farm. So, we have our, well, this is the main cow farm. That's better, yeah. Here's our cow shed. We have a scary, scary looking silage pit. Boy, I'd hate to fall off of there, I tell ya. Wow. We have our chickens and sheep sharing a common slice of grass over here. There is no water mod, so you don't need to worry about feeding the chickens or watering the chickens or sheep. Here's where we pick up our wool pallet. That's where our milk gets picked up. And I'm gonna... there you are. Hello! You found your way into the cow shed, did you? Right on. Okay, so as I say, this is the main farm. Reasonable storage, I guess. Um, yeah. The, this is by far one of the smallest map files I've seen. And I know we've actually run into that a little bit on this contest. Um, but this truly is, it's like... 500 something meg, it's a tiny, tiny 58,000 kilobyte file or something. What are you doing wandering around in here? Silly chicken. So yeah, very small. And in all honesty, once you start wandering around the map, you do realize why. Um, there is a lot of really, really low texture, or low resolution textures. Um, almost all of the grass on the map looks like this. Just this flat painted green. Yeah. And then of course the cuttable looks like that. Um other than that, I mean the detailing is reasonable on the map. There is almost all of it is the really simple see like this cutout pattern of a couple of 90 degree planes on the trees. A lot of the detailing is actually done that way. Um, we'll just pop up to the other farm quickly here. Alright, here is your arable farm. We have rather a nice, I don't mind this kind of silage system at all. So we dump here, we've got our canola, our wheat, and our barley, or canola, barley, and wheat actually, as the case may be. <laughs> and you'll notice a lot of this sort of thing, odd little one texture clipping through another or not being trimmed off after being put in that sort of thing this map almost seems like perhaps they were a little bit rushed by the deadline that was offered um, and I have read on the FSUK forums that a few people thought that maybe they went a little bit um, a little bit shy on how much time was offered for these but well, that's certainly a reasonable price for a field of that size. It's fairly small. It's hideously steep. <laughs> yeah, um, 
to say MR would be a challenge on this map would be an understatement. In all honesty, I have actually come across a couple of fields that... In fact, let's have a look at our map here, shall we? Okay. I just want to show you guys a couple of things that I did notice when I was looking at the map earlier. Um, some of these hedges are solid, some are not. Which is fine. I mean... I just assumed the collisions weren't on every one of them. Alright, so here is our crop field. This is the one that we actually own that we're going to make our initial money from. Um, again, you'll see all kinds of odd sort of little things like that. But, so here we go. Eh, reasonable looking. You got room to run a harvester through here, so that's all fine. But there are... Again, like I said, I almost feel like perhaps this map was rushed a little. Um, so here we go with this horrible end texture and then the flat wall. Yeah, not impressive. It, it really takes away from the realism of a map. Alright, certainly functionable and certainly... <laughs> there we go, let's make up a word. Functionable. Um, certainly functional. Um, yeah, here we have things like your crop is actually buried under a hedge that you can't clip through. That's not a terribly good thing. Um, yeah, I'm not a map maker, so I'm not going to go, you know, you did a bad job here, or this is not good, or that is not good. I have, however, played on a lot of maps, and I know some of the things that work and some that don't. Um, in MR, you would never get this hill cut. In regular mode, you're probably going to find your harvester is going to slip all over the place. But that's okay. That's part of the challenge of really steep fields. However, when we get over onto this side, I assure you that there are parts of this field that are pretty much unharvestable. You see the sharp angle between where it levels off here and where it goes down? Alright, explain to me how a 6 or 12 or however many meter long header is going to conform to that shape. Now, you might manage to do a lot of this by going across at these points, but other than that, yeah. Um, not something you're going to find to be anything less than absolutely frustrating when you try and harvest a field like this. So, again, it feels a little bit rushed. So... And knowing how you do actually sort of paint these layers on, like the wheat, you know, you would draw out your field and then you would sort of paint the wheat texture on it with the fully grown wheat. Um, you know, with the odd gaps that appear, again, that doesn't look planned, it just looks rushed. So, what else have we got? I guess we should go and have a look at the main cell points, which are just down from this farm, so not far to go. So again, yeah, this would be your arable storage and a place to park a few more vehicles. So very nice. I kind of like this. It's well laid out. They certainly do give you a, uh, a reasonable whack of equipment and you get your seed and your fertilizer in here. So not bad at all. Not bad at all. And I do like the buildings on this map. Some of the shed choices and stuff are not the uh, same old, same old. Hmm. You know, again, here, you see, it didn't, it didn't bother to really pull the, the detailing together, so you end up with these rather odd 90 degree angle, the pointy, yeah, and this is simply because this path is different levels of terrain that have all been pulled together to appear as a dirt road, and the appearance is really good till you look at it closely. But let's continue on here. And here we come into the back end of our village. Some <laughs> interesting sort of detailing here. Hmm. And then we have this perma loop of people walking in a small square. That's a little weird. Love the Doctor Who phone booth. Alright, so, if we go down this way, we will find, 
Here we go. Broadwoods. This is the town of Broadwoods. Lovely. Alright. A little stroll through the village. <laughs> Let's have a look at this little complex. This would be the main main selling area on this particular map. Okay, we have a farm shop here. Here's our Right on. That's where we would sell our goods. Oh, hello people. We can buy fertilizer and seed here. We can buy fuel here. We also have our tractor shop here. The wool sell point. A bale sell point. Wow. This is some real one-stop shopping stuff here. And of course here is our actual tractor shop. And right across the road from it is the giant biogas facility. Boink. There we go. Not bad. You get some pretty decent size silage pits. Four of them. Yep, indeed. Alright, not bad at all. And here's our dump area. Cool, nice big one. Perfect. You can use a decent size front loader in there. Alright. And that, as I said, is the real main cell point of cell points on this map, so... If we, uh, huh, that's kind of weird. Oh, I see. And then they've chosen to pop this here to show the really strange edge of the mapping. Okay, so fair enough. I guess you got to end the map somehow. So there you are, people. That's pretty much kind of covers the map. Um, let's quickly pop back up here. Because I think we did miss one tip point. The gateways are a little on the narrow side. Um, they're, I mean, they are, obviously, they're a standard gate, but if you want to run any larger equipment, keep in mind that may become a bit of an issue. Whoa, that's some scary looking flowers, man. <laughs> and then we get down into the deep woods. Okay, I didn't really mean to come this way. But there is, see now, I mean, this is not the edge of the map, this is right out in the middle. And whereas a lot of maps, okay, I'm just hoping I can actually get through here, would have made, you know, dirt roads through here, etc., etc. Um, this is sort of just a, you don't need to be in this area, so don't be kind of deal. <laughs> and here we have our dairy. Okay. And another cell point. So very cool. I believe this would be the tip point up here. Yep. Yeah taken right out of the freight yard. Alright, so there we go guys, that pretty much covers the Broadwood map. A very small map, um, I can only think that, yeah, here too, the textures of the road, you know, again, just, I believe the map author might have been a little bit of a hurry to get this up in time for the Map Mania contest, which is unfortunate, because I actually like the way the map is laid out for the most part. Um, again, it just seems the final detailing was not there. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed our... I'm not sure what these are. Salt. Really? Huh. Cool. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the review. This has been the Broadwood map again for the FS UK Map Mania Contest. So everybody check out the site. It is our favorite farm simulator mod site, of course. So, till next time, folks, this has been Species 7. Take care of each other, because nobody else will, and ciao for now.